Cabinet jitters as Ruto calls for retreat. Anxiety has gripped cabinet and principal secretaries after President William Ruto convened a retreat early next month to review their performance. And while he has yet to drop any of his senior officials, the head of state has accused some of them of being clueless about their roles. But the planned meeting has triggered a flurry of activities. And I start with you, Senator Nyoto, on this. Is it time for a reshuffle at the cabinet level? Um. I think uh, to say or to think that uh, uh, this uh, particular retreat is happening because uh, His Excellency the President wants to do a reshuffle, I think is reading too much. Um, uh, from what the nation has reported here, it is just a retreat to review performance. I come from a background of teaching. I was a high school teacher for quite a number of years. And every time uh, results are announced, of course, a meeting or a kind of a retreat is held between the principal and the teachers to review the performance, to set new targets, to know why uh, maybe the targets set for the last, for last, the previous year were not met, and what can be done in order for everyone to improve. So I think, uh, uh, for me, I think we should not read too much yeah. uh, uh, on uh, this uh, uh, planned retreat, yeah. uh, because in any case, if the president wanted to reshuffle his cabinet, he would not have to call for any retreat. I know he knows how every other uh, cabinet secretary, principal secretary, and every other government uh, official uh, is doing, uh, how their performance is. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's just for me. I, I, I may not exactly know because I don't serve in the executive. Yeah. But I, I think for me, it's just something uh, that is uh, normal uh, people to review their performance, see yeah. what they can do, see where they are failed, see whether anybody needs help. Uh, yeah, so I I think it's just a normal review. But it's you, just a normal review. You want a reshuffle at the presidency itself. Why do you want the deputy president replaced? No, thank you very much. Uh, um, uh, I, I think I do not want a reshuffle now. What, what I have been saying, uh, because I know what you are referring to, is that each one of us that is elected, even my colleagues that are here, we work very hard because we know that we are going to face the electorate again during the next elections, in this case in 2027. So that my position has been, uh, let the deputy president's position, because I've been very clear, we love the president, uh, His Excellency the, William Samuel Ruto. But then, uh, because we do not want him to encounter any uh, 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 headwinds and, or any uh, trouble, especially in the mountain, then I think the best in my view, would be to come with the most popular uh, uh, running mate. And how do you get to establish who the most popular running mate is? It is through a nomination. So what I'm saying, I'm not trying to say that anybody should be kicked out. What I'm saying is, if you want to win an election, and you know defending a seat, and Manzo will tell you, because I know he has defended his seat, seats for quite a number of years, uh, a number of elections, may not be as easy as coming in. And so because, you know, everywhere, even governors, I mean, we have seen governors change their running mates uh, when they seek re-election. Uh, because it's about, you know, the running mate also uh, has something. There's something that uh, uh, that's, uh, in a county you will see that uh, a running mate and uh, uh, the governor and the running mate do not come from the same village mm -hmm. because there's something like balancing. Uh, so that uh, the electorate in a particular county yeah. feel they are represented in that government by the deputy governor. The same for presidency. And if a governor comes with an unpopular, uh, I mean, uh, deputy governor, yeah. uh, hoping that that particular deputy, I mean, running mate will uh, make the people of where he, come, he or she comes from feel included, yeah. then they may encounter some problems. Okay. So in short, I'm not seeking for any reshuffle. Yeah. What I'm seeking is, I am a new DA. Yeah. I would want President William Ruto to win again. Yeah. I would not want, in my view, uh, to see him encounter difficulties because maybe he has come with a running mate that is not uh, 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 the, the, the most popular. So is Rigadi Gashago the most popular running mate now? Um, well, um, 
Let me say, not say yes or no, but I think uh, there are challenges. Because in, in, you were explicit <coughs> over the weekend. In yes. You named Honorable Nindi Nyoro. Yes. a member of parliament. Yes. the most preferred. I, I think he, he could be more popular. Why? Uh, um, we, we, are, we are on the ground. Uh, we listen to people. Uh, we hear what people think about each one of us. I'm also told about my challenges. Uh, 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 and you know, uh, Trevor, you know leadership is about people. If you're not a people's person, uh, I think uh, leadership then becomes a challenge to you. So I think uh, 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 Dindi has shown some very good, like I said, <clears throat> very good social skills, a uh, very good relationship with people, very high appreciation of people, mm. uh, and generally he has favor. Okay.